breaking on sunrise. Another deadly overnight in Minneapolis. A man is dead and a woman in critical condition. We ask police what they're doing to stop this surge in violence. Time is running out for lawmakers to pass the state's 2021 budget. The last minute tug of war happening at the Capitol. Then mass confusion. As another big name store drops its mask policy, many are wondering when and where we can show our faces. A beautiful day on the way. Enjoy it because I'm tracking a pretty active week ahead. And batting with the best. The group giving fans a chance to play ball with some Twins legends while creating a whole new generation of fans. It's Monday, May 17th. Care 11 Sunrise starts now. Hey, Sunrisers, you probably saw a lot of faces you haven't seen in a while this weekend. Face masks no longer a state mandate in Minnesota, and a lot of people were ready to ditch them. But some businesses and cities still have requirements. So, Sunrisers, how do you feel about the easing of mask mandates or even people being more lax with them? Join the conversation 763-797-7215. Yeah, you really got to be on your toes. I was all over the metro this weekend, and, you know, some places masks on, yep. other places not a mask in sight. Keep so. it in your pocket. Yeah, it's different all over. Glad you be with us this Monday. Guy, what are we kicking the week off with? Sunshine and dry conditions too today. So it's going to be a great Monday. Perfect day to start the work week. 53, some high level clouds here in the Twin Cities area. Some areas waking up to some fog. So keep that in mind this morning. Maybe some fall could roll in at the bus stop forecast. Otherwise, sunshine by 9 o'clock later this morning with temperatures in the mid 60s. And Guy was mentioning some low lying fog in certain spots. You can see it here along 94 at 101st Avenue. So folks coming eastbound starting to pick up towards Rogers, towards Maple Grove. Drive time so still looking good. I'll be tracking that. No crash. Actually, I just lied. A crash popped up over here in the East Metro. Looks like one on 35W here just seconds ago. Uh, I'll try to pull those up on traffic cameras and have an update here in a few minutes. All right, thanks, Alicia. Breaking overnight, a deadly start to the morning in Minneapolis after another shooting. One man is dead and a woman seriously injured after being hit by a car. That's right. It happened just before 1:30 this morning near Elliott and Franklin, which is about a block away from PV Park. And Jennifer Austin joins us live from outside police headquarters with what we know. Jen. Yeah, so no one is in custody for this yet. As you said, a man is dead and we're told the woman who was hit by the car is listed in critical condition at HCMC right now. So here's what we know about how this all unfolded this morning. The spokesperson for the Minneapolis Police Department said possibly two vehicles were traveling westbound on Franklin. At some point near Elliott, a vehicle hit a woman who is walking in that area. The spokesperson said after she was hit, someone in that vehicle fired shots at the man who is now dead. This comes after a violent week in the city. Six people were shot Saturday night, including a girl who was playing on a trampoline when she was shot in the head. We asked spokesperson John Elder about the violence. I will tell you that we will continue to work with our communities. We'll continue to work with outreach. We will continue to uh, identify hot spots and problems and uh, adjust our patrol tactics and our investigative tactics to meet those surges and in those areas. At last check, that girl is in critical condition. Police are still looking for who is responsible for that shooting, too. All right, Jennifer Austin live in Minneapolis for us. Thank you. This marks Minneapolis's 27th homicide of the year. And to put things into perspective, we were at 14 homicides at this time last year, and that is a 96 percent jump in 2021. And if you look specifically in the third precinct in South Minneapolis, there's been 14 homicides this year. That means it's uh, uh, it. That means that uh, we have to learn more about what is happening to all of these uh, with all of these homicides in the city in 2021. We're also following breaking news out of Wasika. Here's a live look as crews battle a fire at a hog farm. It looks like they just put the flames out and all that's left is heavy smoke on the horizon there. So it's happening right here at Woodville Pork. You can see on the map right there just off of Old Highway 14 on the border of Wasika and Steele County. Our photographer was about 100 yards away and even from that vantage point, you can see how thick the smoke was and how strong those flames were huge flames there. It's still unclear if any animals or anyone was hurt. Once we learn more, we'll fill you in right away. 
And happening right now, the clock is ticking to pass a budget deal at the state capitol. A spokesperson for Governor Wall said the governor is optimistic state leaders are close to reaching a compromise. If they agree on the money part, there are still other issues to hammer out, like police reforms and voter ID. With no real uh, deal yet, it's likely this is heading towards a special session. Now here's some other top stories in your morning rush. The man accused of holding hostages in a St. Cloud bank earlier this month is due back in court today. Ray Rico McNeary is charged with aggravated robbery, kidnapping and assault. Police say the 35 year old man held five Wells Fargo employees hostage during a nine hour standoff with police. The hostages all made it out OK. Destructive and deadly airstrikes still firing between Israel and Gaza. Israel pounded Gaza with new airstrikes overnight. 42 Palestinians died in the attacks yesterday. Officials say that was the deadliest single attack so far. People in the Twin Cities are firing up their grills for a good cause. A charity cookout was held Saturday in Powderhorn Park, and all the donations went toward pediatric mental health resources in the Twin Cities. Organizers say it's been a rough year for kids, and they wanted to do something good for the community. And the Timberwolves ending the season on a high note. They beat down Dallas 136-121. The team finishes the season with a 23-49 and record, missing the playoffs. And that's your Monday Morning Rush. Listen to Rise is live, tracking the latest on the do I or don't I mask confusion that's happening here in Minnesota and across the country. So how do we know when to wear one of these and which companies are ditching them altogether? The CDC decided to ease mask wearing guidance, saying that fully vaccinated people can ditch the masks both inside and out. CDC Director Rochelle Walensky says political pressure had nothing to do with this sudden shift in guidelines and that the decision was driven by science. There's no need for everybody to start ripping off their masks. What we're saying is now this is safe. Work at your own speed. Work with your own family and your own businesses to remove them when necessary. So right now the CDC says partially vaccinated or unvaccinated people should continue wearing masks. And as you may have noticed around town, some businesses still require them while others do not. So starting today, Starbucks is joining a growing number of companies, including Walmart, Costco, Trader Joe's and Cub, allowing fully vaccinated customers to ditch their masks. Places like Target and Home Depot, however, are still requiring masks inside at this time, among other stores. So Sunrisers, how are you feeling about the loosened mask restrictions? Shoot me a text at 763-797-7215 and we'll be sharing some of your thoughts throughout the morning. But I know you guys were out and about this weekend. Was it confusing? Did you see people with them without? What did you see? I mean, I saw both. It wasn't confusing uh, where I was because you, uh, I found the businesses had signs outside that they wanted you to wear That's a mask. Right. Yeah. So it was well notified. Yeah. And as soon as you walked in, you kind of tell, okay, Every, the servers are wearing it, so yeah. you probably should wear it if you're walking around the restaurant too. But yeah. keep it with you. Mm -hmm. yeah, that's always a wise advice. Yeah. Guy, what's the one thing weather? Sunshine today and warm temperatures. I mean, get outdoors, enjoy it. South St. Paul, high 78. Eden Prairie, 78. Twin Cities, 80. All right, we do have a traffic alert. Unfortunately, a car fire happening right here in Golden Valley, just down the road from us here uh, at Glenwood Avenue. You can see it's completely engulfed in flames, blocking this right shoulder. Uh, looks like the fire crews just arrived and they're going to be blocking this uh, stretch of the road. So I've been keeping my eye on this. We'll uh, keep tracking that. Looks like another crash popped up. 35W southbound at a ramp there. I'll pull that up on a traffic camera. I have an update coming up. Time to connect the dots where we make sense of the headlines. We've said it before and we'll say it again. Kids screen time has gone way up during the pandemic. But experts recommend as lockdowns slowly lift, now is the time to make some changes. Let's connect the dots. One of the many side effects of COVID-19 is children have had more screen time, whether it's because of online learning or parents needing to distract kids while working from home. Researchers say screen time increased 50%. And while we would love to think those kids were only using devices for educational purposes, that same research showed sites like YouTube and the gaming platform Roblox saw the biggest spikes in usage. Experts warn that the effects from this change will continue much longer for kids than it would for adults. That means there won't be as stark of a difference between their online and offline worlds, since kids have now learned to go online for everything from socializing to schoolwork, screens have become a major part of their identity. So what can you do? 
Child behavior experts say now is the time to start weaning kids off the screens and reintroducing them to limits. But you can't just take the screen away, you have to replace it with something else. That means finding activities you feel comfortable doing with your child, going to a zoo, a park, something active that will engage them. And that could be good for the whole family. Get him outside. <laughs> yeah, that's always uh, yeah. easier said than done. But right. hey, you know, with summer and the nice weather coming up, sure. it should be a little easier. Hey, tying the knot is getting more expensive, but doing things last minute could actually save you big. Plus, still searching for that perfect home? Look up. Why two brand new developments in downtown Minneapolis could be easier to nab than a house? Then for the first time ever, you have the chance to bat with the Twins greats at Target Field, and your ticket inside will help kids play baseball for years to come.